Something's going down on the season finale of Day of the Dead, and this family will be ready for it. Everything in me is telling me to get you boys out of Mount Wanhaken. Mom, we're 18. If we're old enough to vote for who runs this town, we're old enough to save it. I am so proud of you boys. Let's do this. And they are ready. And Everything here to talk about this series is the woman who plays the mayor, Miss Miranda Fregan. Good morning, Miranda. Good morning. So great to have oh, you. What a oh, see, cheers for her. <laughs> so, so Day of the Dead, you know, it, just the words remind me of what I look like in the morning when I wake up at three o'clock uh, in the morning. <laughs> but for your series, is it a zombie apocalypse situation? For those who aren't familiar with the show, tell us about this series and what may go down yeah. in tonight's season finale. Yeah, so it's basically about a group of survivors who have to put aside their differences and personal agendas in order to save their town and their loved ones from this, yeah, zombie apocalypse and the undead rising. Wow, and we hear that you're kicking some zombie you-know-what on the show. So how would you describe like <laughs> your character, Paula Bowman? Yeah, so uh, she starts off as this sort of, like, intractable stereotype, this gun-loving right-wing mayor who just sort of uh, very into votes and money. And when she's faced with um, her own mortality and, you know, the, you know, their town and their lives ending, she has to go through this journey of seeing how her views um, have affected the life of her son and the world around her. So she has this awakening into who she truly is and just tries to save the town and all the people that are left. Wow, you have a, a lot of projects, but you also star alongside some pretty famous names, Candace Cameron and Mary Lou Henner on the Aurora Tea yeah. Garden mini mysteries uh, movie series yeah. on Hallmark Movie and Mystery Channel. And and this series uh -huh. is it's super popular right now. It's the it's the number one movie series on the network right now. I mean, what do you think about that? And what do you think it has kept fans so engaged for the last seven years? You know, um, everybody seems to be really into mysteries lately, and um, it's such a great cast. And I'm like, I'm such a believer in energy. And I actually just got back a few days ago from filming our 18th uh, movie. And we've just been together for seven years now. And uh, everybody's such a strong, great actor and a good person. And I think we've just been making really good films. And our writer is amazing. Um, and our producers, it's just a really great team. And I think that counts for a lot when uh, putting forth the energy. People are feeling that, feeling our, our teamwork and our family through the screen. So I'm sure it feels like a family then, like a real family. It really does. Right, on yeah, and off the screen. Yeah, so besides those two current yeah. projects, you can be seen pretty much everywhere. A recurring role on our CW show, Charmed. You have more recurring parts and guest starring roles and we can really count, honestly. And one of the longest IMDb pages. I mean, how does it feel to be so in demand? Oh my gosh, it never feels like that. You always <laughs> feel like you're just trying to get the next job. So, so um, yeah, to hear others think that, you're just like, no, we're just, we're always in the grind. We're up and down, we're working, then we're not. Um, but it's been a really great year and actually COVID where a lot of people did not work. I worked more uh, than I ever have. Um, and I, I actually ended up getting stuck up in Canada for a while and away from my oh, family. Wow. So I'm really happy to be back. Uh, I got back a few days ago and I'm just excited to enjoy the holidays and be with the family. Yeah, you know, um, on a personal level though, you're also a very proud mama, a four-year-old. You said she was getting ready to go to school, but things weren't yeah. always easy getting there, right? And I know that you've used your platform to speak about that on a personal level. Yeah. <laughs> there she is. Oh, look at how cute. But you, use, you, but you talk about it publicly and, and share yeah. your difficulty in, in having her, right? Yeah, I, um, I think it's important. Um, we're still on the journey. I, thankfully, I have this beautiful little girl, but I, yeah. um, it wasn't easy. And we're still trying for baby number two after three and a half years. And I th it's a really lonely process. And a lot of women go through it more than we even know. And I want to talk about it because I want to make women feel less alone and I want to um, normalize it because it is normal and it happens to a lot of people. And I feel like if I can help inspire other women um, that it can happen mm -hmm. and also that our struggles are here to help us. And I had to work through a lot of 
personal struggles of just trying to control the world and, and my stress levels and stuff that I think really make a difference um, when you're trying to conceive. And I think timing's everything too. Babies come when they're ready yeah. and um, I'm not giving up hope for my second. And uh, I just wanna, I wanna share my story so that other women can start to talk about it and we can all feel less alone and, and yeah. sort of band together and support each other. Well, I appreciate your candidness and, and for being there for so many women, like you said, who struggle with that same issue. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you. And give that little girl You too, thank you for having here. me. Yeah, oh yeah, d definitely. And you can look for her tonight on the Sci-Fi Channel for the season finale of Day of the Dead. Oh, fantastic. Check it out. What Too many good shows name. now. Oh, I know. It's like I have no time I in the know. day to get it all in. I know.